a massive crackdown is underway in Turkey. Military officers, journalists, educators, totaling over 60,000 have been either detained, arrested or suspended. They are all suspected of having connections to the failed coup attempt on July 15th, or believed to have links to Fethullah Gülen, a Muslim cleric in self-exile accused to be the mastermind behind the coup plot. One of the industries most affected by the coup attempt is education. Over 15,000 employees of the education ministry have been suspended and are being investigated. Turkey's High Education Board has also ordered the forced resignation of 1,577 university deans. Yet the government's conflict with academics is not something new. Earlier this year, hundreds of Turkish academics were targeted after they signed the petition known as the Academicians for Peace initiative that expressed concern over the conflict with Kurds in southeastern Turkey. One faculty member at Van Yüzyıl University was recently suspended from her post as part of the current crackdown. Yet she believes it was her signature on the petition that made her a target. The Academia for Peace initiative was an anti-military platform more than anything. It did not and cannot have anything to do with Gulen movement or the coup attempt. Therefore, our suspension from our posts is completely illegal and has discredited us. Most importantly, this launched process is an illegal one. In June, the government was also facing a protest by Turkish high schools who were concerned the system was becoming more conservative. It began when a group of students turned their back to the school principal during his speech at the graduation ceremony, sparking protests that spread to hundreds of schools across the country. They were demanding that education be completely scientific and secular. One Turkish high school union leader says the Gülen movement was also behind the scandalous stolen university tests in 2010. Protesting high school students were also against Fethullah Gülen, who has stolen their future. Gülenis did this by stealing university questions and answers for years. The government is expected to hire more than 20,000 teachers to fill the gap created by thousands of educators suspended during the crackdown. It will be critical to see how the education ministry will manage the changes before the new school year begins. Michal Bardavid, CCTV, Istanbul.